Waitress Donna Kaminsky is not alone in her apartment. Something is biting her. And I'm very afraid of bugs, and you know, I'm thinking about, you know, what are they releasing into my body? Donna goes on the hunt, scouring the internet for similar cases. She stumbles upon a photo of a rash just like hers. It's clear Donna has bed bugs. I was absolutely terrified that it was something that was biting me in my sleep. I mean, just the thought of laying in a bed that that you're getting bitten by bugs and the bugs are sucking your blood is absolutely terrifying to even think about. Donna is not alone. Nearly eradicated 60 years ago, bed bug numbers have increased 50-fold in just the last five years. Louis Sorkin is a researcher at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. To demonstrate how the bed bug actually finds its food, Lewis conducts a grisly experiment on himself. They're always hungry. Bed bugs are attracted to us by the uh, carbon dioxide in our breath and also the heat from our bodies are two very important cues. The adults can be seen with the naked eye, but the nymphs are practically invisible. There's a nymph here, and it's starting to feed right now. As the nymphs feed, they turn red with blood. Pretty plump. The nymphs are born equipped with a highly specialized weapon, an elongated mouth called a stylet. It's shaped like a miniature hypodermic needle. There are mouth parts, a very unique tool, uh, perfectly specialized for feeding on blood. Using its hollow stylet like a straw, the insect drinks its host's blood, nearly doubling in size. 